hi everybody and welcome back to my channel you guys i have taken what may and june off i took may and june off of doing videos so that i could focus on my health care so that i could implement new habits so that i could show up for you guys in a much improved way and i'm so excited about it focusing on me focusing on my health focusing on my mind focusing on my emotional health for a moment one of the things I wanted to talk about today is, and this came up, it was funny. I was talking to one of my clients earlier and I said, you know what? I kept saying, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on YouTube. And I had this list of things I was going to talk about. Some of the things that came to my mind that I will talk about and I will be addressing. But today, you know, I was having a conversation and I said, I want to have this conversation on YouTube and some of my other social media. So if this is not YouTube, if it's, you know, Instagram or Facebook or whatever, I really wanted to share this information. The one thing I wanted to say um, that I told her was sometimes, you know, and I've said this before, but I really want to focus here. We get so busy looking for a hug. And when I say a hug, when y'all me, hear me say a hug, we want intimacy so much and so bad. And if we're in a toxic relationship, we're in a relationship that doesn't mean us any good. One of the first mistakes we make as women, men do it too, but one of the first mistakes we make as women, I know because I've been here, is when somebody else shows us some attention or somebody shows interest, we then take all of that validation that we need, every hurt from the relationship we're about to leave out of, the relationship before that, the relationship before that, and we pack our bags and take it right into another relationship. And this is the sad part. We're going into these relationships. We don't know who we are. We don't know who they are. And we're really not going to be able to meet them because we're just wanting a hug. I just need somebody to validate and say that I am worthy. I just need somebody to tell me that I am something. So instead of me healing from Billy and Bob and Greg and everybody else that hurt me, I'm going to go on over here to Charles and see what Charles have to offer 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 this is the sad part and we have misconstrued what self-worth really is so for some of us we think it's in our career we think it's in being married we think whatever we are hanging our self-worth on is false and we're taking that a false idea of self-worth into another relationship. And when we're taking that into another relationship, we're asking them to validate everything that is unvalidated so we believe in our lives. We're taking our fears, we're taking all of that, our wounds, into another relationship. And so today what I told her was, I said, Miss Thing, I'm going to tell her, tell her name, Miss Lady, what I'm going to need you to do, what I'm going to suggest for you today is to pause. Instead of meeting Jim Bob, who I think I might like, who's better than Billy Bob. So I'm going over here to meet ben jo uh, Jim Bob because Billy Bob has been hurting me. Billy Bob has been belittling me. Billy Bob has not been showing up for me. Billy Bob has been dis uh, disappearing acts. Billy Bob has been taking the acts in my emotions. He's rude, he's disrespectful, he's passive aggressive. He may not say this, but he'll do this. You know, so now I'm gonna take all this pain over to Billy Bob that I met at the gas station who looked at me, got my number, and began to tell me all these things that he is, and he looks really good to you because Jim Bob didn't work your nerves. Okay? Jim Bob didn't work your nerves, and you like. Oh my God, I think Billy Bob is a good match for me, boo. He ain't no more of a match for you than Jim Bob, than Greg, than, you feel what I'm trying to say? None of them. They not because we attract our wounds. We attract our fears. We attract what we haven't forgiven. And if you don't take the time to sit out on relationship, this is the thing. So, you know, I was listening to a few women and they were talking about dating online they're dating online and listen broken sad upset and depressed which i'm not going to downplay that because this is very real for some people right but broken down you know sad and depressed because these people they are meeting online 
after they inbox them a few times don't want them and they're like yeah i got dumped by billy i got dumped by charles i got dumped by bob online through i'm a meet em up dot com I feel like I'm nobody because I've been inboxing a person who I really don't know, who could really be catfishing me, who quit inboxing me, and everybody who stopped inboxing me, I've showed them me, I showed them fake versions of me, I done pulled out my breast and showed them that too, and they still won't take the bait. So now I think nobody wants me because catfish.com or whatever you want, online dating site, or whatever you want, they won't inbox you. Your self-worth is hanging on the validation of somebody else. And now I want to take all of that into a relationship and end up in the same place I am today, if not worse, if not don't dig a deeper ditch of insecurity and fear and low self-esteem and low self-confidence, depression, and even more anxiety because I don't know how to sit down and relax and relax and allow myself to heal so that I can attract my healed self back to me. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm t I don't want to be in this place anymore. So instead of me waking up feeling like I need to get validation from this person and this person and this person, I'm tired. I can't take it no more. Enough is enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to deal with my emotional health. Let me tell y'all something. These last two months of me dealing with me, when I tell you, you, you think you have arrived, God will show you you have not. Your creator is so good to you that he will allow certain things to happen for you to realize that you ain't there yet, boo. I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're a preacher, pastor, Eliza Fix My Life, Oprah. It don't matter. He will. Let me tell y'all something. I said, God, please reveal my heart to me. Reveal my wounds to me. I know I still got some. I am a human being. And boy, was he just radical about making sure that happened. But as he revealed these things, I took a sabbatical, not in my marriage, because I love my, I mean, I'm married, right? Not taking sabbaticals in my marriage. But what I did was I created more time to deal with my creator, to deal with my mentors, to deal with my people, to say, okay, I, I feel like I've hit a brick wall here. I need some help in this area. I need some help in this area. Because see, as I begin to level up, when you, you, you decide to level up, you meet new, new levels, new devils. You are being revealed to you on a whole nother level and things you thought you've accomplished or you thought you passed tests. There's a new test. Psychology 101 ain't got nothing to do with psychology 110. You got to pass the test in that too. And it gets harder. And so me, I'm beginning to be, you know, my, my inner man is being revealed to me. My heart, my soulless realm is being revealed to me. And I'm like, okay, okay, God, I got to seek direction here. So let me sit out a little bit and so that I can deal with these parts. But not only that, allow myself to get some downloads. So not only am I helping my clients better, but I can show up for me better. So that I can, my, my mind won't be so clouded. Get some clarification of who God called me to be. Now, this is the thing I already know that, but for some of y'all, that's what you need to do. I don't care what you do. I don't care how much you make. I don't care. None of it matters because your self worth work is not hung on your career. It's not hung on the coat rack of your financial situation. Some of you like, he should love me. Look at me. I got this. That don't mean nothing. To be honest to a man, all he want to know is you walk in a con man that really, he's confident in who he is. He's confident in who God called him to be. And he's not intimidated by a strong woman or a woman is not intimidated by a strong man. Come on, let's just be honest. Because see, I'm talking to some of you men too. Okay, you looking for validation. You looking for somebody to stroke your ego and you hopping from one thing to another one just like she is. Let's just be real. This happens on both sides, right? Because you won't take the time and say, listen, I need to take a sabbatical. And instead of feeling rejected because don't nobody, you think nobody wants you. Okay, because some people can see right through that desperate. I'm desperate. I just want some love. No, you're desperate to be healed. 
You're desperate to heal from some wounds that got you second guessing your worth. And I'm going to tell you, ain't nothing less attractive to a confident man than a woman who don't know who she is and want to take all his time, use all his time to make her feel validated. When all you got to do is takes a few months out and start your healing journey and say, you know what? You know what? Athena, you're right. I don't know who I am. I have no clue. All I know is, is that right now I'm in this position. Right now I may make six figures. But my whole self-worth is on this six figures. Because if everything come tumbling the down that today, I think I lose my mind. Not if it came tumbling down today, the same God that gave it to me and gave me the ability to make it happen, it can happen again. Because I believe in my ability to create and recreate because God gave it to me. I'm made in his image. Some of you guys, y'all don't believe y'all so mad at God that you won't take time to talk to him. So we ain't going to deal with that right now. We can deal with that once you begin to heal. And realize the problem with me is me. The problem with me is me. The problem is that I won't come out of my comfort zone. The problem is I'm so busy seeking validation that I won't sit down and get a hope to a good healing process. I won't reach out to my leaders. I won't reach out to a coach. I won't reach out to a therapist. I don't want to take the time to do that. If there ain't a hug and then you get to your therapist, and if it's a man or the opposite sex or even the same sex, you falling in love with them because they're providing answers for you. Oh, honey, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I know. But if you say, you know what? I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. My pastor say something. She say something. That it's what I read this about two, three years ago. She stood up in the pulpit. And I think I'm going to play that too. I'm going to play that in a clip one day. She said, bye, Billy. Bye, Bob. No more. Y'all don't rule my thought system. You don't remove, uh, uh, um, rule my emotional health. I'm not letting you stay here anymore. I release you from my soulless realm. You don't get to control my life. Not another day in my life. Listen, ladies, I am who I was created created to be. And I may not be walking in that today, but I'm going to walk in it. And you got to make up in your mind that is your truth. I am a queen and I refuse to lower my standards another day in my life. And I don't know what that looks like that just yet, but I know I'm bent and determined to be who I was created to be. And I'm not coming off of it. I'm not coming off that thing. I'm not coming off of it at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day. I ain't got to give up my, my cuckoo no more for a person, spread it all around. But let me tell you, I, I said this and this man, he, he disagreed with me until I begin to, uh, um, really explain to him what I meant. I said, some of you guys have become promiscuous on accident. You don't become promiscuous on accident. Yes, you do. You can, because you're so busy looking for love. You meet Tom this month. And you meet Jerry the next month and you just looking for love so much. You done found yourself in sleep, slept with three or four or five people in six months. You didn't really mean for that to happen. I just want love. And when John dumped me, I saw Fred over here and Fred just looked like he really liked me. And he slept with me a few times. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get up off of here because I really want y'all to get this. One, of, Especially women. One of the mistakes we make is... We don't understand that a man can fall in love with your sex and don't want nothing from you for real. They don't know you. You sleep with these people so fast. They don't know you. You just want to hug. Hug yourself. Let me tell you, y'all know why I know? Like you married Miss Athena. Miss Athena took a sabbatical on relationship before I got married. See, that's the thing. That That's what I did. I did that. Honey, I love you, but you got to go because I need to focus on me. And I meant that thing. Clink, 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 clink. See, I ain't going to teach y'all nothing I didn't do. I did that. I did one a month, two months, three months. Four. I'm talking about I told my husband, who's my the love of my life on this day. And he does not mind me talking about this. Love of my life. Bye. Bye, honey. I love you. But I got to, I got to do me. I got to be... I got to show up like I told God I was going to show. I had to be true to my word. Because, see, I almost lost my life in the hospital, y'all. I was very, very, very sick. And I know some of you guys that follow me know my story. 
And in the hospital, I told God, I said, you get me up off this bed, God. I'm going to serve you like never before. See, that's one thing. When you almost lose your life and you realize that Billy Bob can't get you off that table and you crying out to God for your life because you know your creator holds your life in his hands. And Billy Bob, that one you crying after that won't come call you back, the one keep leaving you for Sister Tasha, all of that cannot give you life. Uh -huh. I said, you try me again. Try. I got up out that bed and I start running for my life. Do you hear me? Do you understand me? I start writing books, writing programs, getting on my face, fasting and praying. And for some of you guys, y'all not there yet. And that's okay. You still got to work out some kinks you got with your creator. And that's okay. You feel like he's been, he didn't answer you. You feel like he abandoned you. And I get that. But if you can, because I felt the same way. I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to sit here and act like I was Miss Perfect. I was not. Miss, I had some issues. But when I got in that hospital, see, tomorrow ain't promised. I walked in there and they didn't even think I was going to get up the next day. They told me and my friend, they said she got her one foot in the grave and one foot out. And it was that experience right there that made me realize that these people that I was running after seeking validation for, whether it was my man, my church, my everything. I mean, I was seeking validation over uh, taxing myself to please people. Didn't have time to do nothing because I'm just busy trying to prove that I'm worth it. I'm busy seeking validation. And baby, when I woke up from that right there, my life began to change. My life began to change when I woke up and realized that I'm everything because I was created. And my creator ain't never made a mistake. Like any man, the enemy may have set me up to fail, but God had a master plan to use it all in my favor. Everything you've been through, he's wants to use in your favor. Everything that you've been through will work in your favor if you will just take the time to deal with you. Let Billy Bob sit. You ain't got to worry about nobody rejecting you because you ain't putting yourself out there to be rejected, babe. You get, Stop putting yourself out there. Get off these dating sites for a minute. Get off these dating sites and get in a good healing program. Get off these dating sites and call somebody to help you. Call me. Call somebody. Get the help you need, but whatever you do, stop it. You stop it. Stop. Stop it. I'm just going to say it like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Today is the last day. Say, say today is the last day. The day, today is the last day I'm going to hang myself worth on somebody's validation of me. Today is the last day I'm going to jump from relationship to relationship trying to find the love that I know I own within myself. Today is the last day. You may not know how that's going to end up looking for you, but I promise you, and you can look on a thousand YouTubes or somebody say, baby, but when I decided... <laughs> When I decided to heal on purpose, that's why my program is called Heal on Purpose. You got to be intentional about it. You got to be intentional about this thing. I'm telling you. Listen, you guys, I'm really, really excited about a few things that's coming up in my program. I am starting my own leadership program for some of you guys that want to be coaches. And so, um, here shortly here maybe the next video i'll have a link if it's something that you want to do reach out to me at www.athenathecoach.com and um, subscribe there or email me at athenathecoach um, at gmail.com and say athena i'm interested in your leadership program for anybody who want to monetize their expertise and say you know i think i want to be a coach and no matter what type of coach it is for some of you guys you say athena i think that i have grown and i believe that god is calling me to healing and transformation. I have a coaching program that would really be great uh, for you using my expertise to help new coaches to, um, you know, start their journeys in coaching, you know, but I'm going to tell y'all some of y'all coaches, I, when I get your clients or I get some of my therapists, some of them therapist clients that come to me and say, I don't want to see another therapist ever. Athena, I just, listen, this is what I need. They want the unadulterated truth. They don't want to give it to them clinically. They don't want to hear a clinical nothing. How did you get through what you got through? Can you walk me through that process? And I'm going to be on y'all, excuse my grandson. He's having a ball out there. Can you walk me through this process? And I promise you, I 
promise you my clients are healing. I promise you their lives are changing. I promise you they're, somebody said, how do you measure success in your clients? Their lives just begin to change and it takes a minute. And sometimes they come back and like Athena, I thought, thought I was done. Nope, we don't never stop healing. Because life don't never stop happening. We don't never stop living life right. But we do get that, those emotional core wounds built from our childhood. We begin to see things differently. We shed some light on some things. How many of you guys know when you what God reveals, he heals? You need him to reveal you to you so you can heal it. You feel stuck because you don't know what's ruling your mind. Oh, my daddy left me. Your daddy did not nurture the wound of rejection in you because he was not there. Sometimes it's the person that was there, that person that criticized you all the time, that person that wasn't emotionally available, that person that called you stupid, that person that said you ain't going to never be nothing, or that person that compared you to somebody else, or maybe it was a teacher, or maybe it was a church, or maybe it was something, but it was something. Daddy not being there couldn't say too much to you. He ain't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't never there. But that does, you know, that can cause some issues. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but it can be your issues been nurtured somewhere. Your fears have been nurtured. Sometimes we really don't understand what those fears are. And I will help you. I help you to identify those fears. Y'all, if you can, and I let me see something really quickly. Okay, ladies, I had to get this book for you guys. My book, I Healed on Purpose, The Toxin, The Wounded So. This book right here will make you identify why you reason and think the way you do. It will help you get to the core wound that rules your life. There are some core fears that rule your life that make you settle out of court for good relationships. Like, why I keep finding myself in the same relationship? There's something there. And if you would get this book, it'll tell you which wound that is that's doing it. Is it all of its rejection? Is it abandonment? Is it shame and humiliation? Is it injustice? Is it betrayal? And the, the negative self-talk that rules your life. What is that? You know, why is that there? And how do I change it? How do I change my toleration for emotional abuse? How do I change my toleration for being in these unproductive situations? And this book is will help you do that. So get your copy. I healed on purpose. I will put the link below so that you can have it. And I'm going to tell you, you make up in your mind that you won't be in this place no more. So y'all know what? In six months, and listen, know that your words have power. That's another video. Begin to speak those things as though they are in your life. Lord, while I sit down in these six months i decree and declare that my life change as you as you reveal to me me as you reveal to me the wounds that the undercurrent wounds that make my decisions for me that's drawing in me in these crazy relationships i decree and declare that i will heal from these things i decree and declare that i will heal from my soul wounds as i set out on this journey to heal and i give you permission I give God permission to heal this broken heart at the end of the day. And you take the proper steps. And one is pick this book up. This book is a self. I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling you, pick the book up. Look at some of the reviews on there. I'm telling you. Let me tell you this. It works. Okay. So I'm not really here to sell the book, but I know the book works. I know it works. I know it works because this is my healing process. This ain't a story about me at all. <laughs> this is a healing book. This is a daily, really, you can use it as, as a 21 day healing book if you want to. Okay, so get your book if you can. And if you need somebody to help you walk through this journey, I will help you walk through it. But don't you stay stuck. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, be committed. Be committed to this journey. Be committed to falling in love with you. Be committed to becoming a repellent to toxic situations. Be committed and make a determination. Stop running from relationship to relationship, trying to find something that you own within yourself. You don't need nobody else to validate you. Once you begin to know who you really are, I'm going to tell y'all something. Once God reveals you to you, after he reveals your wounds and you begin to heal from those wounds, you go look at yourself in the mirror and say, I cannot believe I allowed myself in these crazy relationships, crazy situations, crazy jobs, crazy careers, scared to move forward. I am really an amazing 
amazing person for real. God really created me. Ama I cannot believe that I did that. But since I did, I'm going to let all that work in my favor and help me as I, you know, you know, receive the lessons from them, leave it in the past, not going to beat myself up for them, not going to live in the spirit of regret. And I am moving forward to be who he created me to be. That's it. That's all. And I'm done with it. All right, you guys, listen, I want to thank you for watching. And you listen, well, I'm sorry. If you love this video, <laughs> you guys share this video share the video you don't know how many women or how many men are hopping from relationship to relationship trying to find love share this video give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up and um don't forget if you see a, you know some of the ads in there look let them play through so you know every time you listen to an ad it helps me be able to grow my coaching program grow my coaching program listen you guys i appreciate your what you watching and you have a great day